this is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. today. Thank you, Stanley, for leading me in. He always does a great job with that, doesn't he? He does. He does a really good job. And I have Denworks Jason behind the camera with me today. And we have this really neat little Rambler American 440 convertible, 1965. Um, very very cute and fun car just a nice little runner so we're gonna do a video and show you everything that we know about it um point out a few things that we noticed and we'll just do full walk around we'll start with that so but first we're with denworks and it's d-e-n-w-e-r-k-s we buy sell and consign and we really work hard to sell things and talk about them just the way they are we don't like smoke and mirrors, so um, we want people to know what they're buying. And what else? Uh, we've got our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. It's Denworks Vintage Cards. It's just Denworks underscore Vintage underscore uh, Cars. And you can check us out on Instagram. Anytime we get a new rig, you will see it there first. Yeah, and for sure. A lot of people are like, what are you going to put up on bring a trailer in a couple months or next month or whatever? If you go there first, you can see us right off the get-go mm -hmm. uh, when it rolls in here. And kind of see the condition of it when we get it. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and, um, you know, if you need help selling something, mm -hmm. um, we can help you with that, uh, too. Like Leslie said, we don't like smoke and mirrors, so we want to present it as... We don't have to say we own it, but we, we take it in as if we own it and do the things that we would normally do. Yeah. And then we have our... We have our podcast, and it's called No Reserve. You can find it on any podcast um, format. And it's just me and Jason. We talk about cars. We talk about our life. We live on property, and we have a couple farm animals. And Mr. Stanley and our family, and mostly lots and lots of cars. So that's what we do. And it's only... 10 40 right now so it's a little early for stanley yeah he's not, <laughs> yeah he got up at 10 so <laughs> he's not normally moving that quick but anyway this car is just a neat neat little car and we the the it was bought in 1965 about six months later um the the family that we bought it from acquired the car and they originally bought it for their daughter who was in college at the time and so she drove this around in her college years and it remained in their family since that time and through the years then the gentleman who bought it for his daughter and his grandson then refurbished the car did some stuff to it and so that's the car that you see today and then we acquired it from from the grandson so really neat little car and i hadn't really been around ramblers too much jason's had several through the years but it's been fun learning about it and there are some really neat touches on these cars that I just love. So we'll point those things out too, but let's do a walk around. Um, we set in the auction right up. It originally came in solar yellow and this is a repaint in that same color. The paint is in relatively good condition. There's a, a couple, there's a few flaws in it. We'll point those out as we go, but um, overall real nice condition. And this car, it's just a nice little runner. It's not perfect. I mean, you've got some little, some imperfections on the bumper. Um, but I will say all the lights and everything work um, on this car and starts right up. It has a choke that does work and a um, little bit cold to get started, but starts right up and just cruises down the road. Oh, and his name is Buzz. So yes. 
Jason's just kind of showing you some of the bright work on the front. Got a little sticky there. And then the hood is in really nice condition. It is, I hope it wasn't a bee. It wasn't. No, you said it I was would sticky never, right there. Because that's would, this is named his name this buzz, buzz after a bee. After a bee, because <laughs> that's all I could think of to name it. Because when you start it up, it, the engine is so quiet, and we'll have fun doing a little drive. There's a little paint flaw right here on the fender, but overall the paint is not bad. I oh, mean, actually. Oh, is it just dirty? Yeah. I thought I was trying yeah, to pick it off. Well, there you go. Paint flaw disappeared. Hey, we fixed it. Yes. <laughs> and then it's got the white walls all the way around. I'm going to try to get my shadow out of here. The white walls all the way around. And I love these hubcaps. This is one of the nice little touches on the Rambler. And the we need to get the date code on, on the inside of the tire, but they're P19575R14s. Where's that? And, well, oh, right it's right there. It's kind of kind of hiding and their PR812 is the brand but we think the date code is 2001 um but it looked a little funny and it's on the inside so we got to get it on our lift so we can confirm that for you and then coming down the side in really good shape check out the mirror this is another just nice rambler touch we do also have the original key I'll show that to you as well um the rocker is in good shape going down this side paint looks good mentioned in the auction here you go this is some rust bubbling in this quarter right here so jason's showing you that so you can see it up close yeah and that's just a little little paint run right there yeah there's a see. paint run <clears throat> and then overall nice and straight and then here's the back tire they all match all the way around and I love the white walls. The emblem's in good shape too. I like that. The uh, the script they the use. The font, yeah. yeah I think that's cool. Yeah, it's very. This car is just really neat, and we'll show you the top in operation too. And it has a boot that's connected inside. And we did um, we did make sure that all what do you call it? Snap down. The top's in really good condition. There's no rips or anything like that. Um, I mean, it's just, it's a nice top. Couple scratches on the back window there in the plastic. And I'll show you. And then, those aren't rips, it's just the, it's just the seam you can see across. So it's not perfect, but it's decent. And then back bumper's in good shape as well. There's a couple, couple of scratches. Oh, there comes the sun. A couple little scratches. Oregon can't decide what kind of weather it wants to have. And um, the lights are all in good condition. We'll take a look in the trunk in a little bit too. Yeah, it's got this little, it, the, the light lens is broken right here and so um i don't know we think we they just put that screw in there with some little plastic around it to hold it and then along this side relatively the same there's no rust bubbling um in the back quarter like there is on the other side you can see the car is nice and straight on both sides and in the front and um Yeah, I think they did a nice job on the. I think they the, did too. It's very straight. Yeah, really straight. Good condition. I don't see any rust bubbling on this side at all, so it's nice and nice and smooth. And the rockers look good. The door looks good. And then coming up here, there's a scratch right here in the paint and you can see it's got the matching hub cap on the front with the r in red just some really neat styling i like the front emblem too with the a on it so we're gonna have jason hop in and then we'll show you the lights and 
That way you can see the lights and the blinkers and everything working in this car. I am glad the sun came out because it's a convertible. Kind of feels right. Okay, we got markers. There we go, and headlights. Yep, brights. There's your brights. Blinkers. There's left and right. And then I'll come around the back. Stanley's still sleeping. He knows when it's time for his job and when he can rest. All right, and then in the back, we got tail lights. We got brake lights. Yep, blinker. There you go, blinker. And then reverse. Yep, you can see the reverse lights and the license plate light does work as well so lights all work and then you'll see inside when we go on a drive pretty much everything in this car does work and the top goes up and down nice and smooth so we'll show that to you as well so thanks for checking it out okay let's take a look inside the trunk first of all here's the original radio that comes with the car i have no idea if it works or not or if it was operable when they took it out um like we showed you, the um, the aftermarket radio and tape deck does work. So this comes with the car. And then you have your jack and your spare tire. I'm gonna take those out really quick and impress you with my muscles. It's not really that heavy. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cool. And then let's take a look under the mat. You can see overall like up here, real nice condition there's no evidence of wrecks damage nothing like that under here um around here it looks really good i see just a couple of discolorations here along the driver's side he's getting up close on those for you it looks surfacey to me though. And then the mat, and then underneath the mat, it's pretty good. I showed you pictures under the mat in the auction, but wanted to get up close. On this side, there's some seam seal and some fiberglass. And so he's showing you that with the camera. And then up here is fine. And then on this side, there's the patch and you can see that in the pictures as well. They put this patch in right here. And then same thing, there's some seam seal and some fiberglass on this side of the trunk. So just wanted to make sure that you can see that. And otherwise in great shape under here. Too many things. 
at once. Your high beam light works. And then this is your cigarette lighter. So um, I'm pretty sure that works. We'll see if that pops out in a second. And then the choke, and the choke does work. And um, I have used it because it's been chilly lately. Um, so I won't put my tongue on it, but nice and hot for the cigarette lighter. Um, so just a really fantastic little car. The only thing I can think of inside that doesn't work is the horn. It's not hooked up or something. Um, but other than that, it's in good shape. So I'm going to drop Jason off. So in the middle of nowhere so we can do some driving and show you what it looks like in action. Are you going to come pick me up? Perhaps. We'll <laughs> okay, we're going to show you how to put the top down. You just have to unclip the visors and then you open these two clips. Very easy. They come, you just have to move the visors. And then the top is automatic. So you just do it right from here. And then it goes, and it's very smooth going up and down. There you go, and you're in convertible, and that's it. non-synchro so you want to be at a full stop before you go into first if you're not if you think you're gonna do a California stop and then um, downshift into first it will grind a little bit so um, Jason put it a good way this car likes to be finessed a little bit and because it doesn't have the synchros you got to be careful with that the other thing I noticed downshifting I'm gonna put it in third in just a second if you're going to downshift from third into second, you need to be at really low RPM because if you're not, it's going to want to grind on you a little bit. So if I if I put it in right now, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. good. Um, but there are occasions like if you're going just a little bit too fast and you're going to downshift from third to second, um, you will notice that it does have a little bit of a grind to it. So it's probably something that's getting a little bit worn, but the clutch feels good. Transmission is good. Because it has the non-synchro, you got to take that into account. Um, but just did want to make you aware of that. I'm going to try to duplicate. I may not be able to. We'll see. So I'm going to downshift. Yeah, see, I'm going too fast, and then it kind of wants to grind when you're downshifting. So you just, it's one of those things like with any car, you're going to learn how to drive it and you're gonna learn its little idiosyncrasies. And so just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. But again, transmission is good, clutch is good. So just a couple things to be aware of. So thanks for uh, cruising around with us. Okay, let's take a look at the interior of the Rambler. Uh, really, really nice overall, this nice black interior. We'll start over with the door over here on the driver's side. And you can see that they painted um, a lot of the, like the top of the door above the door panel and then below, and you'll see it on the dash too. And they used a faded, or a, sorry, a flat black. And so you can see scratches and imperfections in that they probably could have done a little better job or did made a little different choice there, but it looks okay from far away. It looks okay, but it's uh, just because they use the black. So you could definitely change that up. And then um, on the driver's door panel, it's in pretty good shape. It's got the aftermarket Pioneer speaker in it. And then Jason will show you the door tag over there. And you can see that the doors are in really good condition. Um, 
and then on the inside of the door and the the bottom of the door looks in good shape too so overall really nice that would be my one thing I would say about the inside is just that flat black I do love the instrument cluster in this car. I think it's so awesome. And I think it's one of those really nice touches in the Rambler. Um, and I just love that speedometer. And then you can see the um, Pioneer stereo and then glove box opens up nice and easy. Um, the visors are in good shape. I had one untucked. And then the the interior, it's it's cushy. It's in good condition. Um, I do love too. I don't know would if would you call that canvas? I love the seat belts, the material of the seat belts, and then they've still got remnants of the the Rambler logo on it. And then the seats just fold forward. He's showing you the drivers, and then they're just a little knob for passenger. So back seat, back seat in good shape too. There's no rips or tears or anything. Um, we'll switch sides here in a second and then he can show you a little closer up. Just a little pro tip, when you're rolling down these back windows, I'm gonna tell you right now, you are gonna be rolling them and you will hit your thumb. And I'm telling you, don't do that because it's gonna hurt, you're gonna do it anyways. And the first time you do it, you're gonna say, oh, that's why. She said, don't do that. So there's your, there's your pro tip and ask me how I know <laughs> because I hit my thumb and it did not feel good. So we're swapping sides. And then he's showing you this side of the interior. The boot is in great shape. It does, I did notice it has this tear here. I didn't notice it before. So it does have this small tear. Otherwise it's in really good shape and it all snaps in really nice. It's in great condition. Um, <clears throat> passenger side, the door panel's in pretty good shape. There is a rip right in the middle that you can see. So that might need to be something you could address. And then just a really, just a solid car. It's got its few little things. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention, which is inconvenient because you're over there is the, it's got the steering wheel cover. Sorry, I didn't mention this to you. And it's got tape on it. I didn't take this off, so I don't know what the condition of the steering wheel underneath, um, but it does have, the, the cover itself does have that tape there. So you can see that. And then carpet's in good shape in here. It's got floor mats in it. So there's a look at the inside of the Rambler. to do this hood is heavy I'm gonna shut it for you at the end of this video and the doors on this thing and the hood I have been around a lot of trucks lately and this hood and these doors tougher than any of those trucks so it may be a little rambler named Buzz but this thing is all metal <laughs> there's no question so under the hood really clean in here um, it's got the 196 six-cylinder motor in it it's got the original valve cover and air cleaner which is kind of a nice touch it looks like at some point they put primer on the inside so it's not the correct color um so they've done that at some point but you can see that it looks in great shape under here it's no evidence of wrecks or damage or anything this little motor does buzz <laughs> when you start it up it's so quiet sometimes you can't even hear it um when you're driving it and then we've got the vin right here on the shock tower the shock towers look great you've got the washer bag the washers do not work the wipers do but the washer bag is not hooked up but that's kind of another nice little touch in here and then remind me the name of this <laughs> well <laughs> 
Those are support bar. Your, I don't know. Yeah, shock tower support. Shock tower support. So you got shock tower support. I didn't know you were gonna ask me. Sorry. And then, yeah, shock got tower you. supports. Yes. It's in great shape. And um, the good thing on those too is like on a Mustang, they're mm -hmm. bolted. These guys got smart and thought, let's weld them. <laughs> yeah, I mean this thing, this car, it always surprises me. I am gonna shut the hood when we're done, but we're gonna have Jason hop in and start it up so we can hear this engine roar. More like a buzz. Yes. <laughs> Um, it does sound but cool. it does. It sounds so cute. It is just a fantastic little car. Just a nice little runner. I've driven it around quite a bit and, um, it's just, it's a fun one to drive. It just scoots down the road. So, um, I've enjoyed it. So here we go. And we'll even grab it. the other day and it was kind of chilly and I didn't even need the choke on that day it's pretty it's pretty forgiving so um great little car I do want you to see the hood shut and hear it shut I'll try not to smash my finger and then we'll show you some more stuff if that's not a hood shutting I don't know what